following the resignation of Chris Pincher back in September. The people of Tamworth will go to the polls this Thursday to decide on their next MP. Ahead of the vote, our West Midlands reporter Jack Carson went to the historic town to find out what matters to them in the upcoming election. It's a constituency with a rich history. And this Thursday, the people of this old Anglo-Saxon kingdom go to the polls to decide their next MP. Chris Pincher was the MP for Tamworth, but resigned in September following allegations of sexual misconduct and his recommended suspension from the House of Commons. Advantage Network Tamworth is a networking group of local business owners who meet in the town to connect and discuss everything from issues to big successes. The upcoming by-election here is hot on everyone's lips. But what do they think are the issues a new MP needs to address? For Chris and Angie, business is at the forefront. We've lost this sense of identity. We don't really know who we are and we haven't got anybody to lead us. From a business point of view, we need somebody who's going to come in and look at things that are relevant to business owners. Things such as business rates, things such as, as, as uh, property rates and the stuff that affects each and every one of us who, who lives within the Tamworth and Tamworth surrounding area, not just the town centre, which for too long has been the focus. So, I mean, there are a lot of like small businesses in Tamworth that, that employ local residents and I think for me it's important that the residents and the businesses are, are thought about, are considered, are connected with and I think that visibility of all, all the small businesses, all the outlying kind of you know like business parks and I'm out in Faisley so my shop's in Faisley and um, we kind of just get a bit forgotten about over there a bit and that is still part of Tamworth. But for Leonora and Martin it's about making an impact. I just really want to see more visible policing in the area um, because as a, as a woman, a middle-aged woman, I do feel unsafe when I'm going out in the street um, that we could really do with, you know, hiring up our security. Uh, we've got a, a by-election now, but then we're likely to have a general election in nine months. So I look at this as a, almost a probationary period. An MP that can come in, really make a mark in those six, seven, eight, nine months and then we can judge them. And I think that's a real opportunity for not just the MP, but for the Tamworth, but for Tamworth as a town. Tamworth is currently undergoing a £40 million redevelopment programme, but being able to restore a thriving high street is a concern amongst others who live in the town. Obviously, everything's closing down, and the town has just literally turned into a ghost town. What you need is, is back to its old marketplace again, that it was years ago, you know. Whoever is elected to come in, and hopefully they can do something about it and make it back to the way it was. Someone that's going to help the business in the area, young businesses, just uh, kind of thrive and um, get back into the community and get back into their working ways without being in debt and money out the pocket from the cost of living and the rises of the rents. We have to go to Burton for a decent hospital. Well, you know, it's uh, and a doctor's appointment. It took me 35 minutes this morning to even get through to the doctors. So I think he's got a lot of work to do, to be quite honest. The Conservatives currently hold a 19,000 vote majority in this constituency. But come election day, there's no predicting which way the political wind blows. Jack Carson, GB News, Tamworth. Well, of course, here are the full list of candidates hoping to become Tamworth's next MP. You've got UKIP Roberts Billcliffe, uh, Conservative Andrew Cooper, Reform UK... Is Ian Cooper, New Labour, Sarah Edwards, Monster Raving Looney Party, Howling Lord Hope, and the Greens, Sue Howarth, and Independents, Peter Longman, Britain's First, Ashley Simon, Liberal Democrats, Sonny Virk.